Hi everyone, my name is Catherine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please do and let me know your name and where you're from down in the comments below. Let's connect and get to know one another. In today's video, I have two new products to my collection that I want to try and I'm really excited about them. This is the Revolution, the Lion King highlighter and I initially thought it was a blush, but it's not. It is the Heart of a Lioness highlighter by Makeup Revolution and it has, I believe, what's, not Nala, but Simba's friend. I forget what her name is, but this is her and she's so cute. I love the packaging, like it's adorable, but this shade specifically, I just looked at the picture on the back and it looked like a blush, but on the front it says it's a highlighter. And um, I got this at Winners for $4.99. And look at this compact. It's so pretty. However, when I looked at it and opened it up, it looks like it's a bit cracked on the inside, which is really unfortunate. But the shade of it looks so pretty. And I know it says it's a highlighter, but I feel like I can get away with using this as a blush. So we're gonna use this today. This is new to my collection. You know, it is a little bit torn and the winners that I bought this from is in a city a couple hours away. So I don't know if the local one here is gonna have that same uh, compact. And yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to, to exchange it for a different one. The other product that's new to my collection is this one and it's the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream. And this one is in Dolly Glamoury, Glamartini. And it says here, uh, I don't know, well, I don't know. Yeah, here it is. Pout plumping shine with a refreshing tingle. Spotlight stealing, glassy smooth color in a new Dolly inspired shade. So this is her. I thought this, the color was just so pretty. And I love Buxom lip glosses. So we are going to be using this too today. And we're going to just see what happens. So if you are interested in continuing to watch, please do grab a snack, grab a drink, get cozy, and let's get started. So for foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. And I have mine in the shade 425 linen. Now, this bad boy lasts a really nice time. It's more of a thinner formula. I will show you here on my pan. I feel like this shade is perfect for me right now. They have an awesome shade range as well, which is great and it does not take long to blend out. If you wanna share it, you can. If you wanna build it up, you can. It's a really great versatile foundation and a little bit does go a long way and it looks really natural on the skin. It feels like close to nothing is on the skin either, which is great. I will show you how it covers the acne on initial application. Just so that you have a better idea what the coverage is like. It does a really good job as you can see. Now, just to perfect certain areas, I'm gonna go in with my Real Technique sponge. This one in particular has a rubbery end to it. I believe you can apply the foundation this way and then tap in the opposite side with it, but I haven't used that side yet. So I'm just going to use the sponge and tap out all over to further blend in the foundation and just pick up any that's, you know, sitting on the skin. Mm -hmm. 
this foundation has a fragrance this foundation has a fragrance to it and it's reminding me of one of the Rimmel foundations with the orange font and lid. I forget what that name is. However, I kind of really like the fragrance on this foundation um, and that foundation as well. It's not overbearing, but there is one and it is present for a little while and then it kind of vanishes throughout the day. But if you are sensitive to fragrances, I just wanted to point that out for you. Okay, so for concealer, let's just go in with my tried and true Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the shade number 10, light. And I'm going to apply that underneath the eye and anywhere else on the face that needs a little bit more coverage. We're going to go back in with the Real Technique sponge and blend that concealer out. This foundation honestly belongs in like a high-end aisle. It performs beautifully and I know that the prices for drugstore foundations has risen. However, this one, I believe, is worth the price tag. So if you are looking for an amazing foundation with more of a natural finish than the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation is incredible and still remains high on the list even today. I want to add a little bit of luminosity to the under eye and I'm going to use my Light Shifter Brightening Concealer by Becca and I have mine in the shade Emmet 1. So this is a twisty component and there's a puff at the top and the product just kind of oozes out of that. Now I like applying this underneath products but I also like applying it on top. I find that it works well with really anything and it just adds a little bit of luminosity to the skin so I'm just applying it in this area and then more concentrated in like the inner corner of the eye to blend that out I'm gonna go back in with my real techniques sponge and it adds luminosity but also coverage For today's eye look, I wanted to incorporate the NYX Jumbo Crayon Pencil in 604 Milk, which is an honest, true white. And I am going to apply this on the lid, and then the plan is to, um, yeah, and it's a really opaque formula which is awesome and they have so many different shades in this product. I think this is awesome to add in your makeup collection if you are looking for a versatile product because this can, you know, be added on the lip, on the eye, and it's really long lasting and wears really nicely, even blends nicely. So we're going to add this on the lids and then I want to incorporate more of like a pastel eyeshadow on top for the eyes to just really pop and I'm picking a little bit up with my finger first and then applying it like that. I'm going to give this a couple minutes to dry down and then I am going to go get my eyeshadow and apply it on top. We are also using NYX for the eye. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Shadow Palette USP04 Brights. Now there are 
4, 8, 12, 16. 16 shades in here, I believe. And I just think that this color story is wonderful for creating bright looks. As you can tell, there are pinks and blues and yellows and greens and corals, purples, and oh, the sheet just fell out. So I wanted to pop on this color in the inner corner and kind of leave the rest a bit bare. Hopefully, you know, I like the way it turns out. I might even just mix this one and this green right here, maybe a little bit of the yellow. So these three I'll mix a tad bit and build on that. And yeah, so let's just get straight into it. I have not used I have not used this palette before, so this will be the first time using it. So I guess, you know, you can add it in the first impressions. Um, but I just thought that this color story is, it's wonderful. And even the size of the compact too, you can travel with it. And NYX is known to make really nice eyeshadows. So let's just dig into these. Hopefully they perform well. I'm going in with the turquoise first which is right here and let's pop that on I'm just gonna pat the lid out and get any creases out first before we go in with the shadow applying the white eye pencil as our base is really gonna ensure that these colors pop and just right off the bat, I am really happy with this decision. So I just went in with that teal first, and now let's incorporate a little bit of that limeish avocado-y green right here, and apply that on top. And like I mentioned, I'm just concentrating it in the inner corner. And then let's just apply a little bit of this yellow right here, this bright yellow in the corner there. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, let's do the other eye now. As you can tell, this look is taking me, you know, five seconds. Well, not five seconds, but only a couple minutes. Which I love. I love fast looks, but have high impact. You know, like, those are the best. They're simple to do, and they have that wow factor about them. So now we are going to go in with that green. And I'm honestly, like, I will show you, I am just ever so slightly picking up the product. I'm not dousing the brush in the eyeshadow at all. And it's packing a punch as it is, which is awesome because that's telling me the quality of the shadows really perform well. And now we're going to go in with that yellow on top to finish it off. For blush, this is the moment I have been waiting for. I'm going to go in first using this shade, and it is from the Le Soitier Havana Trio blush. It does not have a name for this shade in particular, but it's this really pr pretty uh, pink. And we're going to apply that on the cheek first, and then I'm going to go in with the... Uh, Heart of a Lioness highlighter by Makeup Revolution on top and I just want to see if my theory stands correct using it as a blush topper. Hopefully it does. I almost forgot to set down that eye pencil, so I'm going to go into my Too Faced Natural Love Palette. This is the Ultimate Neutral Eyeshadow Collection, and my best friend got this for me one of my birthdays, bless her heart. 
uh, this shade right here, which is named Heaven. So I'm going to go into Heaven and apply that um, on the on the crayon portion, which is majority of the lid, because I just want to ensure that that is all set and does not crease. And this is a pale cream, which is perfect for this look. Now, I'm not going to add any bronzer for this look. I'm just strictly going to have blush. And so now it's the highlighter moment, which is, I think, more of a blush topper in my opinion. But I have to be very gentle with it just because, as you can tell, it's cracked in certain places. So I will swatch it for you so you can get a good idea. But there's like a sun stamp on it, which I think is really pretty. Oh my goodness. I love love this color hopefully it picks up on camera it is a like peachy pink highlighter so just off of initial reaction it's there is a sheen it's not glittery it's just this really pretty sheen so I hope this works out and if it does, I'm probably going to be using this all the time. But I just, I love this shade. So I'm going to go in with, mm, what brush should I use for this? That is the question. Oh, there we go. Let's go in with the e.l.f. Cosmetics highlighting brush. I just feel like we'll have more control over the placement of this. And I just pray that the rest of this product does not crack on me. It has a little mirror too, which is useful. So let's apply this right here. Light. Oh! I'm going to add a little bit on the center of the nose and I can tell you that <sighs> I love it. I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys a better look with better lighting, but just know and trust that this is so pretty. So let's go in with mascara before we apply my mascara. I'm just going to curl the lashes using my CoverGirl lash curler. And then this is how I like to curl my lashes sometimes, depending on the look I'm going for. So for this one, I'm kind of bending backwards once I get all the lashes squeezed in there and then going in sections. So working in the middle section and then the end and just giving it a few pumps. Now, for mascara, I'm using my Stila Magnum Mascara, and this is in Intense Black. And we are going to coat the lashes with this bad boy. Look at how big and beautiful that brush is. Now, for some of you, this brush is no bueno. If you have more lashes than not, then you can get away with using this without, you know, getting mascara all over your lid. It's more of a, I'd say it's not too wet. It's kind of in the middle range. And it is it is black. I like that it fans out the lashes, but also provides volume. And I appreciate that the mascara coats until the tip of the lash as well. So we're going to give this look a couple coats of this mascara. I did end up getting mascara on the lid down here, so I'm going to wait for that to dry, and then hopefully it'll just flick off using an eyebrow spoolie. That's the goal here, because there is quite a clump kind of concentrated in this area. So I'm going to wait for that to dry down and fix it. Now, for lips, let's go into the Buxom, what is this called again? The Buxom Full-On Plumping Lip Cream in Dolly Glamartini and and let's see how this looks 
So right off the bat, I'm noticing it does not pick up too much product on the doe foot applicator. Uh, I'm probably going to have to dip in several times. But this color is so pretty. And it's super glossy. It smells sweet like caramel. I mean, I'm sure one coat is enough for some people, but knowing me, I'm probably going to do three. <laughs> it's sticky, but that's what helps it make it more long lasting. And it's tingling, but nothing excessive. It's more minty, if anything. Ooh, that's really pretty. Now let's take the hair down. I'm going to go brush my hair, kind of change the lighting a little bit so you can get a better idea of how this makeup looks. Because right now I'm more against the light than the light is in front of me. So we're going to switch it up a bit. So this is the completed makeup look. I decided not to set it with a spray just so that you can see how the powder sits on the skin. It provides such a pretty sheen and there's a tinge of pink to it which is so pretty and I think it pairs so nicely with the blush that I um, applied first like look at that look at the glow it's and the lip dolly glamatini or glamatini I don't even know how I pronounce that yeah glamatini so pretty and it feels I like a minty feeling on the lip it does not bother me and it's not tingling and it doesn't sting it's just a nice like refreshing minty you know sensation but this highlighter is so pretty obviously like I said with certain highlighters are gonna grab um, light of like the texture on the skin and this one does a little bit but not to the extent where I'm like I can't wear this and the foundation the eyes the 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 eyeshadows they performed really pretty obviously I just used three of them but I will swatch them for you here on my hand just so that we can have a better idea um, how they look but I mean even swatching like that peach one needed a little bit more give and let's do this purple one this bright royal purple. Oh yeah, that's nice. And let's do this blue one here. So those are some swatches of the eyeshadows in the pan. I'm going to continue to play with this palette. I think it's great. I'm just going to wipe these off. But um, yeah, so these new products, I'm really happy with them. I think... I think they're so pretty. Obviously, I have so many pinks in my collection, but I actually just love pink. And I'm really happy with how this makeup look turned out. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're well. And thank you for, you know, sitting with me or doing whatever you're doing with me and just have, keeping me company and me keeping you company. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.